What's up everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial. In this video we have yet another request from the person you see on the screen right now. I'm gonna do my best to pronounce their name. Yes, you fool me the best requested that I make a programmable item dispenser for your base. And this is what I came up with. This is the max version with five different cells that each dispense different amounts of items depending on what you want. You can also build this at a much smaller size. The main cell dispenses X items, X being whatever you want it to be. We're also gonna go over three other optional cells that each dispense different amounts of items. I designed this so that at the push of a button, you will quickly obtain the items that you stocked in the quantities that you programmed. You could do something as basic as a single dropper that gives you food or rockets whenever you need them, or you can stock it with everything that you would need to go on an end raid, so that when you're ready to go, you can press the button and be on your way. Some other examples of what you could stock it with include potion brewing, wither fighting, nether raiding, adventuring, or even just after death, so that after you die, you can just press the button, get some basic gear to allow you to quickly go back and retrieve your stuff. Another feature included in this design that I thought was cool is that if you trigger the target blocks, it will give you one item from each dropper in that cell. I thought that might be a handy feature so that you don't have to trigger the entire machine just to get a couple of items. And as I mentioned before, you don't have to build the super max version. You can actually build as many cells and as many droppers in those cells as you want. So for something simple, such as giving you a bow, arrows, and a totem, or something even more simple as just giving you food or rockets. It is totally up to you. And best of all, it's super duper easy to build. This is the stuff that you will need for the super max version, but for the basic version, you will just need the stuff in my hotbar plus some redstone dust and blocks. All the stuff at the top is what you will need to upgrade it to the super max version. So it's totally up to you whether you include this stuff or not. Also, some of the target blocks are totally optional. You will need one for the basic design and two for the super max design, but you can also put target blocks on the other three cells so that you can quickly activate it with a bow. Totally up to you. And for the build area, you're going to need a 9x6 area. Start off by placing two temporary blocks with either a target or a solid block on top of them. Totally up to you, this is the cell that dispenses one item and will have the button on it. So place zero to four droppers around this solid block, depending on how many items you want to be dispensed at quantities of one. Then come over two blocks away from that, place a solid block, and then place a target block on top of that. This actually has to be a target block for the redstone to work but this one is going to be your X cell, X being whatever you want it to be. So place zero to four droppers around that target block, depending on how many you want. Then come around to the back, place four solid blocks behind this target. Then grab your redstone comparator, face to the outside and place a redstone comparator facing that way and make sure it's on subtraction mode. Then place redstone dust in the other three positions. Now come over to the middle and place a piston like so, holding a block of redstone. Now we're gonna place some temporary blocks so that we can place a hopper diagonally down from that redstone facing toward the piston like so. Break out the temporary blocks and then place another hopper going into that so these hoppers are going into each other. Now place some more temporary blocks so that we can place a piston right here diagonally up from that other hopper. Then grab your solid blocks and place two solid blocks diagonally down from that hopper. Place a comparator facing the back of the machine like so into a redstone dust. Now grab your solid blocks again and we're gonna run solid blocks from that dust over to that comparator over there. Place a repeater right here and then redstone dust on these four places. So this is what you should have. Now come over to the other side of the machine, place a solid block diagonally down from that hopper, face away from the hoppers and place a comparator, then place a solid block coming out of that comparator with a redstone torch on the side of that block. Now place two solid blocks going up to this piston right here and redstone dust on top of both of them, like so. And this is done. Your X cell is now complete. All that's left is to place items into this hopper to determine how many items you want dispensed. I did a little testing and this is what I came up with, but lag will influence these numbers. So depending on how much lag you have, the numbers might be a little bit different. But in general, eight items in this hopper means that you will get half a stack of items and 16 items in this hopper means that you will get a full stack of items. So it's totally up to you how many ever items you want to program it to give you. And really quick, before we move on to how to build the other cells with different quantities, let's stock this just to make sure that it works and make sure we built everything correctly. So since we left eight items in the hoppers in the back, we should get one item out of the center cell and 30 items out of the cell on the right. 
It's always good to test stuff as you go so that you don't end up building an entire machine and realize that part of it doesn't work. But sure enough, we got one item and 30 items. So it works, now time to build the other cells. So next up, we're gonna build the half of X cell. And all of these other cells that we're going to build are totally optional, totally up to you whether you build them or not. This one is half of X though, so whatever you programmed X to be, this will be half of that. So start off by placing temporary blocks so that you can get your target up here. This one also has to be a target, it can't be a solid block. Then place as many droppers around it as you want and then come around to the back. Place four solid blocks just like we did with the first one. Then face away from your hopper clock and place a comparator right here. Make sure it's on subtraction mode, that's very important. Then place three redstone dust in these places. Come down here and place a temporary block next to this redstone block. Then place a piston facing the back and then break out that temporary block and place a block of obsidian in front of this piston, like so. Now place a redstone torch on top of that piston with a solid block over that torch and then a redstone torch on this side, like so. And that's it, your half of X cell is now complete. So this will dispense roughly half of whatever you made X to be. So let's place some items in it and test it just to make sure it works before we move on. It also isn't going to dispense exactly half of X, it'll dispense basically half of X. So the bottom one dispensed 30, this one should dispense around 15. So with eight items in the hoppers back there, it gave us 16 pumpkin seeds. So it gave us a little bit more than half of X. And now on to build the last two cells. These last two cells have nothing to do with X. One of them dispenses two items, and the other one dispenses three or six, depending on what you tell it. But first, we're gonna build the one that dispenses two items. So come two blocks away from the middle and place a temporary block. Then place either a solid block or a target. Totally up to you. But then place as many droppers that you want to dispense two items around that target or solid block. But then break out your middle block temporarily so that we can place a temporary block and then an observer facing away. So the back of that observer is pressed up against your target block or solid block. And then we're gonna place a redstone torch right here in front of that observer and you're done. This cell will now dispense two items whenever the button is pressed. But I'm gonna go ahead and build the final cell before I test it, so go ahead and place two temporary blocks right here with a target or a solid block on top of that. Just like the last cell, this one doesn't have to be a target unless you wanna activate it with a bow or just be symmetrical. But then place as many droppers as you want to around this block. Remember that this cell will dispense either three or six items depending on how you program it. But then come around to the back and grab your observer. Have your observer facing down toward that redstone block. Then place a solid block on top of that. A solid block next to that observer. And then solid blocks going over toward the target. Then to have it dispense three items, simply place redstone dust on top of these three blocks. But if you want it to dispense six items, break out these last two dust, place a repeater facing outwards, and then place an observer facing that repeater. The way it is right now, it will actually still dispense three items, but if you make this repeater on at least a two tick delay, now it will dispense six items. So you can toggle this cell between three and six simply by changing the tick delay on the repeater. And now you're done. It should all work, but let's just test it really quick just to make sure. So this bottom left cell should dispense two items where the top left cell should dispense six since we have a repeater on two tick delay. And sure enough, it looks like it works. So now all that's left is to load the items that you want dispensed into your droppers. And if you want to expand your dropper storage, you can always place a hopper going into some of the droppers with a chest on top. And then also remember that if you place backwards stairs, it looks like a solid block, but doesn't block the chest from opening. This can be really nice when working with chests to hide your redstone or just make it look extra clean. And with that, I do believe we are done. All that's left is to decide how to decorate, and you can use item frames to label your droppers because they can push items through item frames. If you missed last episode, it was another request requesting how to make hidden staircases, so I came up with two designs, one that was a hidden spiral flush staircase, and the other that was a horizontal 3x3 piston door for the top of your staircase. So check that out if it seems interesting to you. But that's all we got for this video, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate you being here. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you so, so much for coming back to watch yet another video. It is because of you that I can keep going and keep making these. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, that really helps me out. And even if you didn't like this video, leave me a comment and let me know why. I'm always trying to improve my video making skills, so your criticism might really help me out. And talk to me in the comments if you have any questions or requests, I'm always down to help you with whatever you need. But until next time, I've been your host, Amla Du, hopefully teaching you a redstone trick or two. And reminding you, as always, 
don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.